Okay, y'all, let's get into Dominique Gardner. I wanted to read, y'all, that article that Jim DeGarotis did on her. But I thought about it. I mean, like, I don't know. I don't know. I might. But it really ain't. It really ain't telling. My name is Dominique Gardner, and I'm quite sure you all heard about my mother, Michelle Kramer. And I'm here to let you all know the truth about her, expose her, uh, the liar she truly is. Now, I know you guys are probably judging me, like, oh, how our daughter just going to put her mother out there like that, but truth be told, she put me out there like that, so it's only right that I come back mm. and tell you guys the truth, because she's been putting lies out there, and I'm here to tell the truth. What? First of all, my mother, she knows who I live. Wait a minute, no, where she you came live? came all the way in L.A., pretending like she was sick, tricky. Okay, so this video... That has now been uploaded. Seems as though it was made shortly after the Lifetime Doctor series. Because she's saying, my mother knows my mother knows where I live. First of all, my mother, she knows who I live. She came all the way to L.A. pretending like she was sick, tricking me into coming to see her. Why? Outside of my hotel door, which I did open because as a daughter, you think your mother's sick. So, so what do you do? You want to be there for her. But in this case... She came with a camera crew from Lifetime. We saw that. And when I opened the door, she ambushed me with cameras. We saw that. Took me off guard. I saw that. And I closed the door on her. We saw that too. Because. Why? That's wrong. She's trying to make it seem like I'm held captive by R. Kelly. And that's not the case. I am not a victim. What's the case? And <laughs> what's funny is that I just spent the whole weekend with her. Yep. Yeah. Well, yeah. I'm held captive. I escaped. No, that's not the case at all. My mother. Okay. Now I'm convinced. She made this video when she went back to R. Kelly. You know, when her mama was saying that she came home for three days and then went back and then went back home to her mama and been there ever since. That's when she did this. Okay. Okay, Dominique. But why would you upload it now? I just spent the whole weekend with it. But I'm held captive. I escaped. No, that's not the case at all. What's the My mother, she's money hungry. She is? Yeah. She's upset because I stopped paying her bills. No. Nah. Well. My mother is money hungry. Tell her that little girl. In case at all. What's the case? My mother, she's money hungry. She's upset because I stopped paying her bills. Because I was, well, technically, our Kelly was paying. Okay. I, I will ask him for money. I can believe that. To give to her so she can pay her bills. And once I couldn't do it anymore, I just got tired and fed up. I told him the truth, then he cut it off. And she didn't like that, so she threatened to kill herself, my little brother, and the dog. Not the just dog! Oh, wait a minute! Girl, one minute now. Not the dog. 
She threatened to kill the dog. And her child and herself when I can't even cut her off. Girl, so getting a job wasn't an option. Did y'all hear that little girl? She said her mama, Michelle Kramer, threatened to kill herself, her little brother, and the dog when R. Kelly cut them coins out. And what I want to know is, Girl, why? The truth is, he cut it off. And she didn't like that, so she threatened to kill herself, my little brother, and the dog. Okay. Just for some attention, just because she wasn't getting a paycheck if, anymore. If like, she gets us, she's going to get a whole lot of attention. How could you say that about your own <laughs> child? You want to kill your own son because the money stopped rolling in? Like... You guys have no idea. She's trying to play like she's a victim, like she's actually concerned about me, but she'll be told she's not concerned about me. She's not? All she wants is the fame, the publicity. But girl, you know what? Now, she is the one parent in the documentary that I believe. Now I got to cut Michelle Kramer loose. She playing games too. Everybody lying. Everybody lying about something. But this is what I want to know, y'all. If all this is true... When they got in the Lifetime van, when they came, when they came out the hotel and got into the Lifetime van, her and her mom was all hugged up. Once they was in the van, she was crying and she was saying, this is the hardest thing I ever had to do in my life. So who's lying, her or her mom? Because if her mama told her, that she was sick and she knew she was coming, why would she say that? This is the hardest thing I ever had to do in my life. It doesn't make sense, y'all. Oh, no. Oh, no. She's trying to play like she's a victim, like she's actually concerned about me, but she'll be told she's not concerned about me. All she wants is the fame, the publicity. <laughs> Lifetime offered her five thousand dollars to do an interview. I told y'all they got paid. To LA to expose. Um, let me see. I don't really know what they was exposing because, as you all can see, I'm good. I'm just tired of the lies. I just want everybody to know the truth. Good tired, girl. And there you have it. That's the truth spoken from Dominique Gardner. Don't believe anything of the truth. Wait a minute, girl. What's your saying? There you have it. To LA to expose, um, let me see. I don't really know what they was exposing because, as you all can see, I'm good. I'm just tired of the lies. I just want everybody to know the truth.
Man, there you have it. That's the truth spoken from Dominique Gardner. Don't believe anything else no one say. Like, oh, Dominique said this, I heard Dominique said that, no. What you're hearing right now is what Dominique said, so let that be known. Well, why she in a dress eating the dookie? Because that's what I want to know. That's what I want to know about. The feces. She ain't say nothing about them doodle -doo balls, y'all. She ain't speak on that. I don't know, y'all. This stuff is just so weird. If her mama is such a liar and out for money, what she said to her in that documentary don't add up. I'm still trying to understand it, y'all. I'm like stuck right now. Why would she say this is the hardest thing I ever had to do in my life? And she was crying when she said it. Why would she say that if everything with her is all good? This shit is weird. 